years ago, a poll was taken of medical doctors as to what they thought the single most life-saving innovation had been over the last few hundred years. Very significantly, they voted in favor of the treatment and provision of pure drinking water. With this wonderful project, this marvelous project, in eight years, we will be cleaning up the Thames and allowing the river to be a much cleaner, more attractive and wonderful asset for the people who visit, live and work in London. Having been involved with the project now for the last three years, I can see what impact it's going to have on people that work on the river in terms of the type of work they do, the types of vessels that they handle. I can see the benefits that it's going to do for commuting, for tourism, for freight, and I can see a huge plus for the Londoners uh, in terms of the environmental benefit. The whole concept of management of the Thames and how it operates and how the city is grown around it is a really powerful story. The people are even more important than the infrastructure. The infrastructure exists because the people need it and the civil engineers have created it, they've designed, they've delivered, they operate it, they maintain it and that whole story is just an exceptionally powerful one which we're delighted to be associated with. I love in my photography meeting new people and this project, the River People project, is all about meeting new people um, and people that I would never have met otherwise. Um, so it gives me a chance to just get to know these people, get to see their lives and what they represent and what their lives look like. The first sewers in London, uh, the first in the world, were laid down uh, through the, the designs and work of Joseph Bazalgette. Uh, in, the, in the 19th century. And it's really good to see his work, his spirit alive and today in the, the development of, of Thames Tideway, which will provide a new lease of life and a whole new quality of water for the, one of the main arteries in London. The work that was done in the 19th century on the London sewage system by my great-great-grandfather, but equally by the great engineers on the railway systems, is still benefiting the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren of those people now. So the great question today is what money are we investing in great infrastructure projects today, not just for us and for our children, but for our grandchildren, great-grandchildren in the 22nd century. And that's why I'm a big supporter of the Tideway, the Super Sewer Project. Mm -hmm.